It is not going to be perfect. No, 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 no. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Also hit that notification bell so that you're notified of all my upcoming videos. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you for watching. This is the video of the quick pinup hair tutorial. Uh, it's super quick. I put it up, pin, put bandana, and it's super cute. Great look for the summer. I recommend this look. Like I said in my last video, just the pinup icon symbol for me was always the start of summer. It just always reminded me of just summer. If you wanna know how to get this hair look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so here we go. We are using the Tresemme Max Hold Number no. 5 Aerosol Hairspray. You can use any hairspray of your choice and just spray this all over your hair. Just And also make sure that your hair is kinda of dirty. It makes it easier to style. So now beginning to section that off at the crown of my head, I'm going to tease that a little bit. You can't see because I just couldn't manage to show it on video, but tease it a little bit for that little bouffant look. Probably as high as Snooky or as little as you want. And push that forward and we're going to hold that together with a trusty old 90s hair clip that I still have. Doesn't matter what color because it's going to be covered anyway. Okay, here I'm just making sure I push it up a little bit and then pulling it up as much as I want by pulling the hairs up forward. Again, this does not need to be perfect. Now adding a bit more hairspray on the sides because I'm going to get ready and pull this up into a ponytail and I'm going to anchor down my hair clip with a bobby pin as you'll see in a minute. So that just helps it push it forward and keep it in place where I want. Put more than one bobby pin, I just put one here just to show, but try to do a crisscross formation when you put in this bobby pin because it really helps hold that forward. Now you're going to want to do this in a really high ponytail, so put it as high as you possibly can. The higher and the more like fountainy it looks in the back, like kind of waterfall, it will. it's going to look so cute. After every section that you do, do definitely hairspray it does make it easier to put up. Um, I use a big round bristle brush to smooth down the hair. Uh, this is the only bristle brush I have, but if you have a smaller one, it's better. Not as heavy. And of course, adding more hairspray because we just want to make sure that's nice and in place. Now using a really good stretchy hair tie, I'm just gonna go ahead and tie up my ponytail. Okay, so you can do this look in two ways. This is the first look. Here I'm using the Colt Gaia headband bandana. This does have wire inside and it makes it super easy to put on with the wire if you're not used to just utilizing a bandana. It's already put together. It's just great for first time users. This is the one I got from Jeannie Mai. I love this thing. It's beautiful, it's so cute. Um, but go ahead and tie that on top. The, the tails up above your head and then you're going to tuck in the ends into the sides of the bandana. So here you have look number one in, with a ponytail. Now going into look number two, this is when we start curling the hair into little like 
cinnamon rolls kind of or just circles on top of your head and you're going to bobby pin these down you're going to do these in as big or small sections as you like um i did them i varied i couldn't see i'm using a very small mirror so i'm going to hold this down with several bobby pins and um, after every time I pin it down, I hairspray it because it really holds it in place and doesn't fall apart on me while I'm doing the next one. If you really wanted to, you can do this look for a nice formal evening to uh, a nice wedding event that you're going to. It's just so easy to do this look and it's so nice. Um, you just kind of go with the flow with the look of the design on your head. There's no perfect placement for it. You just go with it and come up with your own look. That's what I love so much about, about doing this kind of updo because it, anyone can do it. So as you can see, I'm checking the mirror, AKA the viewfinder to see my placement, uh, to see what needs fixing, what needs hairspraying, little flyaways or what, what not. You can put as many bobby pins as you want in this, you know, as long as you hide them and as long as it's secure, that's what, what matters here. So going with a different bandana, actually my daughter used this for her recital, so I just borrowed it. It was so cute. Um, I'm just tying um, from the back of the head to the top. I'm just going to do a simple tie, um, double knot it, and we're just going to leave it at that. You can actually fold the bandana in half and then half again, and then you can go ahead and put it on. I didn't film how to do it, unfortunately, but it is super easy to just fold it half and then half again. And yes, we're going to secure this down with, that's right, more hairspray. And there you have it. This is the pinup hair tutorial. Super quick, super easy. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's summer. You want that hair off your neck. Question of the day. What is your go-to summer hair look? Living in South Florida, for me, it has to be up. And also as a mom of four, definitely has to be up. If you like this video, please hit that like button below. And if you're not a subscriber already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified of all my upcoming videos. You may also follow me on all my other social media platforms for more behind the scenes of what goes into making my videos. And I'm also on patreon.com. So become a patron member on patreon.com slash ccbglam. And if you join, there are rewards and benefits for becoming a member. As always, stay sassy, sexy, and sophisticated, and I'll be seeing you on the next one.